The most common question I have been seeing on the comment sections lately is whether do I go for Nevsky or whether should I go for CPO. Now this is a question I kind of faced on my main account as well. You probably know I went with Nevsky but that's situational. Now let's try to see whether we can do some testing and answer some of those questions here. Now as you can see M has been successful in making both Nevsky and CPO 5551 five, now if you're a low spender that's probably realistic for you to get there relatively quickly because the last skill as we know takes the most amount of gold heads so we are going to test a nevsky with saladin and we are going to test a cpo with alex initially because they are probably the initial pairing that you go for as long as you just entered season of conquest now the second sort of testing we're going to do will involve guan and CPO and then Nevsky and William as they are probably the more common pairs. Now I need to mention that the William is not 5551 it's rather 5554 so a little bit of a skill missing there and same with the Guan. Guan is 5214 on M's account but then ideally it could have been 5151 but 5115 is kind of decent as well and the Saladin of course is 5551 and when it comes to the Alex the Alex was max now let's go for the testing now let's make sure you go through the process of liking and subscribing because these videos take a lot of effort and for a small channel all we can hope for is your support through likes and subscribe now let's go now for the first fight, M has brought out her 5551 CPO with a maxed Alex and then Ladus has brought out a Charles and Ethelfled with mixed troops. Both of them has 60k T5 troops. Now in terms of the fighting, Ladus and M kind of has the same civilization, same city skin, uses similar talent trees but then there's a VIP difference but then it's not like we're trying to compare you know what CPO on Ladus's account and Nevsky on M's account so the opponent coming out of Ladus is going to be the same when we are looking through M's account so don't worry too much about Ladus having a higher VIP because we are kind of going to bring out the same troop from Ladus now the other thing that I want to mention is we're doing a small troop 1v1 testing outside KVK without equipment and that's kind of not meaningful to be honest because if you want to make it meaningful you have to be in kvk with kvk tech kvk buffs by kvk tech i mean crystal tech and then you have to have equipment as well because otherwise the commanders kind of completely become different commanders if you want to put it that that way i will use an example of xy say for example xy without equipment and without K K without the kvk tech crystal tech performs pretty poorly but when you put all the cav equipment and when you put the kvk buff and you put the max crystal tank on him he becomes a really good and that's first hand experience so anyways we have the testing in the background i'll show you the reports as well but the testing in the background is more to facilitate the conversation we are about to have rather than i guess going by the test results because this is pseudoscience any testing in rise of kingdoms is actually Lines. the real results you get is from massive murder ball group fighting and then it's kind of hard to show that as testing that's why experienced players kind of can give you good recommendation rather than showing you know the 1v1s and whatever now let's go back to what we're using now so this time around i got the by i i mean ladus got the Charles and Ethelfled still the same combination that we had previously and we have M bringing out a Saladin and Nevsky. Now again Nevsky is the reason why we all love Nevsky is because Nevsky make a target take more damage when the target is swarmed so technically a 1v1 doesn't do him justice but the same can be said for CPO as well because we love CPO because CPO does multiple damage uh, AOE and all that and then again 1v1 is not suitable for him either for a different reason but either way as I said this is more to kind of facilitate the conversation now I keep talking about the conversation what is this conversation that you want to have <laughs> with us lad as well so I think the way I want to put this situation is rather than whether 
CPO is better or Nevsky is better, it kind of comes down to what you have. So think about the Lados account where recently I did a video on how I max Nevsky and I'm kind of just starting to work on CPO and I'm not even too sure whether I'm going to max CPO or kind of save the gold heads for Boudicca. I could kind of go either way, I haven't decided yet, but then for me it was important to go for the Nevsky and that's to do with how it, it, it's kind of related to who am I benching. So by using Nevsky, I'm benching Saladin and Saladin is getting old. So we need to bench him. So my five March kind of gets a lot better or seven March kind of gets a lot better when I am investing in Nevsky in my main account compared to the CPO because my infantry marches are already quite solid and i have to find i already benched leo and i may need to look at benching i mean uh, either cal or alex or someone so infantry wise cpo even if he may be better adds less value if that makes sense so that's how you kind of make the decision now more on that and i just have to mention that we started the second set of fighting already so this time around Ladus for the next two battles is going to bring out an Ethelfled and YSG with 60,000 troops again and then on the other hand M brought out the Guan and CPO and then in the next round she is going to bring out a Nevsky and William because they're the next sort of pairs you kind of go for. Now going back to the conversation about how do you pick so say for example if you have a situation where you where you don't have enough infantry commanders to you know field the two or three marches that you want to field on infantry and that again is based on what type of equipment you have so say for example i can take out two infantry marches based on the fact that i have two decent sets of infantry equipment now the third one even if i have the commanders getting the equipment is going to be challenging so that's how i'm kind of limited so you may have a situation where you have equipment for two infantry marches and you plan to take two infantry but then you have say for example three decent commanders and for the fourth one you're probably using charles and charles is not bad but not necessarily ideal and then compared to charles taking a cpu out is going to do you a lot more benefit and that's why you would then go for the cpu over the nevsky whereas if you have a situation where you are you only have saladin and no other commanders then nevsky kind of becomes important for you and even if le 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 letting kind of go of the saladin let's say that you plan to take one cav march and you want to make that nevsky and william which is kind of ideal then you need to kind of go for the nevsky rather than the cpu so it's situational based on what equipment you have and what march that you can take out now that being said let's kind of have a look at the report so the first set of battles cpo alex and saladin and nevsky if you had to pick from the two based on the troops remaining that's how i kind of go by it clearly is in favor well not clearly but it is in favor of the cpo and alex because i have more troops remaining and that's how i kind of consider um, which march was doing slightly better compared to the other now look at the second report now remember for the second set of battles we took a guan and cpo and we took a nevsky and william now the william had more gold heads in it so we obviously expect the william to do a little bit better and again this is not as i mentioned many times this is pseudoscience this is not a real testing this is rather the conversation but regardless when we look at the report the nevsky and william has a lot more troops remaining so nevsky and william probably did better in this case but then i i think how i will put this decision also to you is if you're thinking about 5511 commanders I kind of have a feel that the Nevsky does a little bit better between if you compare the two Nevsky and CPO 5-5 five, five Nevsky may be a little bit better than the 5-5 five, five CPO in a group fight situation and then if you're talking about the 5-5-5 five, 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 then maybe the CPO starts becoming better and if you're talking about maxed between the two I think I prefer the CPO in that case as well because CPO's expertise is a 
lot more powerful now the other sort of thing that i want to mention is if you are fighting with five marches and low crystal tech and so on maybe the cpo is a better choice for you if you have a situation where it doesn't make a difference whether you you know pick an infantry or a cavalry commander and you just have budget for one then maybe the cpo is better for low spenders and free to play and the nevsky could be better for players that are going with five to seven marches a little bit higher on crystal tech usually and so on so and then the last thing that i will mention is when you're making this decision keep in mind that Budika is coming out and she's archer and she is to me just based on the skills she looks as op if not more compared to these commanders so you may even have to pick one of the three to invest initially in rather than just thinking it, it's the battle between the two so you kind of have to start making those plans now so lastly just confirming if you're thinking about maxing either one of the two all things being equal my preference is towards the cpo for lower spenders and free to play however if you're thinking about 55 or 555 and not maxing then it kind of depends on which which commander will improve your five march or seven march a lot more so if you have a lot of cap commanders then go with the cpo if you already have a lot of infantry commanders then maybe go with the nevsky so hope all of that made sense if you have any questions feel free to leave it on the comment section and i hope you guys like this video and please definitely subscribe for more videos like this